Well, happy Monday, everybody. What can I say about the weekend we just had at the Pastors and Leaders Conference there in Arlington, Texas? The Lord blessed us in a tremendous way. There are so many words that I could try to describe, you know, what God did for us. Amazing, phenomenal, life-changing. But the one that stands out the most for me is reinvention. The, the, the word was wonderful, the worship was phenomenal, and the praise was high. God truly, truly blessed us. Every service, every session was just what the doctor ordered. I, I believe that those pastors and leaders who were there in attendance were strengthened. I believe they were renewed. I believe they were revived because of what they received through the word of the Lord. I believe we all received something that encouraged us to do better and, and be better. On Thursday night, on Thursday night, Minister Diamond Freeman really took us to a place in worship. He kept calling on the name of Jesus and God really, really blessed him, blessed us and used him in a phenomenal way. Then Bishop Randy Borders from Shelby, North Carolina, talked to us about a willingness to change. He told us that you have to agree to change. He told us that you have to agree to be what and who God has called you to be. And in order to be who he's called you to be, you got to be prepared for it. We can't just wait for it. We got to go and prepare for it. Then on Friday morning, our vision. Dr. Jonathan L. Pack encouraged us and he pushed us to get back to our creative selves. Sometimes along the way, we kind of lose a little bit, bit of that because of the cares of life and everything that goes on in our lives. But he pushed us to get back to our creative selves. And, and then he expounded um, on our next session with him. He expounded and led us into a phenomenal study on the three levels of giving on the first fruit, the tithe and the offering. He said there's a different anointing that comes along with each of those levels of giving. I'm telling you, that word was absolutely life-changing. It was a life-changing session. Um, our evening sessions were phenomenal, led by um, our pastor and um, our ministers um, and elders, leaders, Pastor Wayne Campbell for our pastors and Elder Donnell Walder for our elders and ministers. Pastor Campbell talked to us about survival of a cold blue church a dying church, but there is still hope. And then Elder Darnell Walder also talked to us about how we can be effective as elders and ministers assisting and leading um, alongside our men and women of God. Then on Friday night, Brennan John and his band blessed us in a tremendous way with this music ministry. And then Dr. Pat came back again and blessed us once again, ministered to us about the office of a shepherd and the fact that we have to be submitted to the shepherding process. He asks us the question. He says, who do you trust to break your legs? Lord have mercy. Who do you trust to break you in order to help you? An amazing word that really made us look at ourselves and line up with authority because as he always says, those in authority have to be or should be under authority. What an amazing learning experience that we have had this week. Jordan, partnership, we were blessed tremendously. But the thing about attending conferences of this nature, we when we get back home, if we're not careful, we'll tend to go back to our same old, same old. We'll tend to go back to our norms. But today I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to, feel, to reflect on what you've heard and begin to find ways to um, apply that information to your life. Begin to find ways to apply all that you've acquired and allow them to be a part of your own local areas of ministry. So where do we go from here? You've got to first, you got to first hold on to what you know God said. God spoke to us loud and clear. And for some of us, you received some very personal, some very personal words that was catered specifically to you in your situation. And therefore, you've got to hold on to what God said. Amen. Because oftentimes when we leave an atmosphere like that of Jordan, the anointing lifts and seemingly the opposite begins to happen. But you better understand God is going to do everything he said that he would do. You just got to stand on that word. You got to trust what he said and you got to trust that his word won't come back to him void. It's got to do what he sent it out to do. And then number two, you've got to do your part. 
You've got to be committed to the work. You've got to get back to your creative self. You, you've got to write down the vision. You've got to make it plain. You've got to begin to, to brand that ministry. You've got to begin to brand that business in such a way that you cannot be denied. This is not a time for you to sit back and wait for it to happen. This is the time for you to get up and go after it. You've got to make the right connections, the right God connections. Greatness is not going to drop out of the sky. No, it's not. It's not going to come and overtake you by itself. You've got to go after that. You, you have all the tools. You receive all of the instructions. Now it's time for you to let allow everyone to see you at your best self. Soon you'll have others wanting to sew into what you're doing. But you've got to put in the time and you've got to put in the work. Then number three, you've got to surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself with people who have vision, people who are going somewhere, people that you know who are going somewhere. They're, they're not just talking the talk. They're doing the work. And at this point in your life, you don't want to go backwards. At this point in your life, you should have some goals that you need to reach. You should have some new aspirations that you want to reach. And by now, you should have a definite vision in view. And you need to be around folk that can make your baby leap. You need to be around people that can literally help push you to your destined place. Place. Then finally, you have simply got to trust what God told you. You simply got to trust that God is going to do just what he said he would do. As we discussed this week, he has plans for you, plural, not just one plan. God has plans for you. So don't get stuck on just one set of those plans. Now you know there are many. And you've got to trust that he will be the source of all sources. You've got to trust that he will be everything you need him to be. He's giving you the word. As I said, he's giving you the instructions. Now it's up to you to hold on to it. It's time for you to apply it to your lives. Jordan Partnership, we have been blessed beyond measure. And I pray that we do not take anything that the Lord has given us this week lightly. We have been blessed and I cannot wait to hear the testimonies that are sure to come because of what we've obtained through our reinvention experience. There is nothing like a Jordan experience. And, and I'm so thankful that the Lord allowed Dr. Jonathan Pack to bring us all together as a partnership so that we can help each other be our very best selves. Don't forget, please make sure you connect with us at thejordanpartnership.com. That's our website. Make sure you go there to see what we're doing, to see what's going on. Make sure you connect with us on Facebook. We're listed as the Jordan Partnership. Make sure you let us know if Jordan has been a blessing to you in some way. Let us know how you've been blessed by your connection with us. As our visionary always says, one is too small of a number to achieve greatness. So we here at the Jordan Partnership, we're looking forward to connecting with you real soon at one of our next events. 2015 is going to be a great year. We're already making plans. We're already working on the calendar. So make sure you follow us on the website. Make sure you follow us on Facebook just to make sure you are in the place at the right time because I believe 2015 is going to be a great year. Jordan Partnership, God bless you. Thank you so much for just allowing me to come into your lives on these past few Mondays. And until the next time, until we meet again, I am Pastor Kimberly Moore and I am connecting truth to power. God bless you.